I'm continuing my conversation with Dr. and Mrs. Ng here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And on our left here, we have a hotel, the Cambodiana, I think that's what it's yes. called. Tell me a little bit about your experience with this building. Uh, when we were in Phnom Penh, 1973, 74, 75, this hotel was already in existence, but it was only half finished. Ah, okay. And uh, at that time, there was a huge influx of refugees coming from the countryside because of incessant rocket attack uh, from the countryside to the uh, city itself. So hundreds and thousands of refugees flocked into the city. They were hungry, they were hurting. So some of them were housed in this hotel, this very hotel. Uh, we did a lot of refugee relief work. So many of us went uh, from room to room to help with the refugees. And we saw those uh, uh, poor people uh, in, in a dark room, dingy looking, mother, children, uh, uh, cooking a meal on the floor. Mm. You know, the entire room was filled with smoke, uh, charcoal smoke, and uh, it was a pathetic scene. Mm. But uh, every day almost we did a lot of refugee relief, distributing clothing and uh, rice and uh, salt and fish uh, from Mekong River. Okay. Wow. So when you were here, you experienced rocket fire. Um, t tell me, did you experience any providential care while you were here? A uh, rocket attack was a daily occurrence. Okay. Uh, we have learned how to respond to rocket attack. Okay. Uh, when and they B-52, right? And B-52, okay. uh, which we'll talk about it later. When rockets went overhead, you will make a whistling sound. So when you hear the whispering sound of uh, rockets going overhead, that means you are safe. Okay, so <laughs> you're still alive. We are still alive. Uh, the problem is with, when you don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> because when you hear you are the target, right. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know anything about it. Right. So upon hearing the whistling sound, immediately will hit the floor. And so the favorite place in our house, in our apartment, will be the bathroom because it was uh, uh, reinforced. Uh, with with peelers and so on, so we thought that was the safest safest place to be uh, in a rocket attack, and then uh, we had many many experience how the Lord uh, worked over time to protect us. Uh, my wife was a treasurer of the Kamai district, and every week she will go to the bank uh, to deposit the money, offerings and tithes. And uh, one time she went with a, a student missionary, you know who accompanied her to the bank. And um, uh, when he was inside the bank, uh, there was a rocket attack. When he came up from the bank, ready to retrieve his bicycle, he noticed one of his handle was cut off by a strap there. He was saved and sound. A lot of uh, commotion outside, but the bicycle was okay with minus one handle, but he was safe. Wow. So we just thank God for that. Mrs. In, when you were finally evacuated out of Phnom Penh, you went out to the airport. What happened? I was with him, you know, uh, going to the airport, right? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. While we were at the airport, uh, we had to hide ourselves in, in, in a bunker because uh, the airport had been a constant attack from the enemy because if they could take the airport, they could take the country. Mm -hmm. And so from one bunker, we will run to the next bunker, just next to the runway. <laughs> and finally, we make the last dash to the plane itself. Ah. Then upon entering the plane, they quickly closed the door and they started the engine and the plane made a very tight loop uh, around the airport uh, going up. Uh, and we just thank God we saved we safely arrived in Bangkok as a result. Wow. Yeah. So when you look back at your time here, um, what, what lessons did you learn as young missionaries? Well, never question God. Mm. Why things happened the way they did. We just, God asked us to trust Him. And not always, because we, we are not able to, to, to understand why things happened uh, the way they did. That's not one lesson we learn. Lesson number two is that we learn 
to trust God uh, for the future of his work. We had 33 members uh, when we left. So we thought the, the, the congregation will be, uh, will, will be scattered because of the war. But little did we know that years later, many of the tens of thousands of refugees streaming across from Cambodia to Vietnam uh, to uh, Thailand, they receive uh, the gospel message through the uh, refugee ministry. So a church was established through the ministry of many other uh, seven -day, dedicated Seventh-day Adventist organizations. So our church today is strong and on a firm footing. We have a mission office, we have a school, uh, K to 12, huh? doing very well. So we just praise God for being in control of His work, even though everything around you may seem to be falling apart. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Dr. and Mrs. Ng, thank you so much for sharing with us today. It's our pleasure. Mm.